Bad Friends. friends. We're going to be in Durham. Then we're going to be in Charlotte. And then we're doing our Texas run, yeah. which is San Antonio, Houston, Houston and Texas. Dallas, baby. And Dallas, Texas, Come my out friends. and see us. Once we're done with Texas, we're going to the Pacific Northwest for Seattle and Portland and Spokane. Then yeah. we go to Arizona, baby. Phoenix, go get those tickets right now at badfriendspod.com. Right now. Badfriendspod. Well, badfriendspod.com right dot now. Com. We'll see you out on the road. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. But you've heard of the Moonies, though, no? What's the Moonies? Yeah. What? What are the Moonies? I don't know what the Moonies are. Tell us what the honeymoon are. Mooners. The oh Honeymooners is that's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're a moron. Aren't they called the moon Moonies? No, the, you don't know what the Moonies are. No. The show, the Honeymooners. I know what the Honeymooners no, is. No. It's a good show. But you know what my favorite one? The black one. The Jeffersons? No, the honey, the honeymooners with Cedric. Cedric the Entertainer has. They, a... did, they did a black honeymooners. What? No, they did. I yeah. swear to God, they did. Wait, when? Years ago. That's my favorite one. With Mike Epps. Yeah. Mike Epps, Cedric, and who? Who else is on? Who are the girls? I don't Gabriel know. Union. Gabriel Union. Union. Wow. Yeah. Oh, we're watching this on the bus. We have to watch this on the bus. We have to buy this on DVD and get yeah. it on the bus. I saw it already. <laughs> I saw it in 3D. What? <laughs> yeah. To the moon, Alice. Yeah, yeah. it was Her name that wasn't... and an Avatar. I stayed in the theater all day. That's it. Yeah, just honeymoon. No, but the Avatar. Moonies were um is a Korean Christian cult. Let me see the Moonies. The Korean and Christian cult. The, the leader has a crown on that's made out of bullets. I mean, I'm in. <laughs> moon is the man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> a crown of bullets. There's no bullets here, Bobby. What are you talking about? Was this a fever dream? You <laughs> it looks had? like a Burger King crown. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, that's what. Oh, that's what it is. I, you know, dude, I think it's a fever dream. Can you imagine if he got all this confidence while he was working at a Burger King? <laughs> I can rule the people. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, listen it. here, Moon, you just rule the grill, yeah. okay? You're not ruling anybody. Yeah, that hat looks like it's made out of paper. Yeah, it does. It's a paper crown. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, is that a metaphor, huh, for religion? A paper crown. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, they were hu huge in America as well. Mm -hmm. And that's... Um, did, you any, did you know any Mooners? <laughs> no, but I tried to burn down the Korean church. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Did, did I tell you about that? That's always a good thing to say. Me and my cousin, me and my cousin Andy, right? Went. I, this is you know, this is gonna sound like a lie, but it's not. Okay. And we went. Um, so we went to this Korean church growing up, and um, they one day my uncle caught me and Andy opening up the trunk of our of my mom's car, and my dad had a gas, you know, spare gas in there. Mm -hmm. Us having it and a lighter, and we we're gonna burn down half of the fucking church. Why would you do that? We hated it. Though. With nobody in it, though. I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think so, yeah. We were kids. It's at the I, same I, time where I beat my grandmother with a stick. Oh, yeah. Kid <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Burn the church, beat the old lady. Kid yeah. stuff. Well, she was paralyzed from neck down, so uh, she, she didn't, didn't feel, feel like that. That's right. Yeah. I mean, what kind of stuff did you guys get into as kids? I guess now that I think about it, we got in trouble for spray painting. We got caught for, like, graffiti. Yeah. But that, why would, that wasn't burning down a church. But we didn't actually do it. I think we were scared, but we had it. I don't know. You thought about it. You went through the action of getting the the, the gasoline, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a big step. Well, it's dude. not as bad as, like, you know, shooting up a place. That's true. That's Hey, look at me. <laughs> right? That's right. So, yeah, I just look at the bright side. That's things. a bright side. Mm. What did you do? You weren't a bad kid. No, I would have friends like Bobby that I'd be, like, so scared. They'd be like, come on, we'll just burn the church down. And right. I'd be like, please mm. don't make me do it. But here's why. Well, here's why it's not that bad. It's your, own, you it's your own religion. You weren't going to burn, like mm. it wasn't a hate crime, because it's your own. It's like you wanted to burn down the thing that you were connected to, because you were mad about it. But not just that. I was mad at the uh, at the idea that, you know, Korean parents view their children as trophies, mm. right? So, you know, you would hear, like, at a party, uh, my my daughter Sue, she gets straight in. She go Harvard, Right. <laughs> She's getting harbored by somebody? <laughs> no, she's going to Habad. Habad. Hmm. She's going to Habad? Habad, Iran? Harvard. Iran? Harvard. Oh, Harvard. Yeah. yeah I'm it. just saying the way they said it. I, I'm so sorry. I thought <laughs> you were saying Habad. I'll do it again, and I'll try to make it more. Go ahead. Uh, my, my daughter, so she gets straight A. She's going to Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Does that feel better? That sounds <laughs> great. Exactly. Yeah. And then my dad would be like, they would... <laughs> but imagine a conversation if they did that. Yeah, yeah. My daughter, so intellectual. Yeah. She gonna go to Dartmouth. <laughs> it's like a movie dub, but they like didn't have enough money. 
Yeah. God, it's yeah, so We only fun. have enough money for Harvard guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So they what? They show each other off, and the kids are trophies. And my parents never. Do you like, wear a they... consolation prize? What? Do you wear a consolation prize? <laughs> yeah. They would, they would, no, I mean, I think some Korean people thought I was dead. Because you didn't get that talked about. That was never about. talked about. What about Steve? He Because he got straight A's. He did? Oh, yeah. My brother was. My brother had Bible passages on his wall. My my brother's room, I swear to God, looked like John Doe's room in seven. Yeah. <laughs> like a red cross, yeah, black big red wall. Yeah. And just like, it was weird. He was fully in. He was fully in Christian wow. Christianity. And then what happened is my brother lost state. My, my brother was ranked like four in the nation. Wow. As a wrestler. Wow. And he went to state, and I remember he just dropped the ball. And I remember him, it just, he had, there was so much expectation and pressure and he couldn't do it. I, w- I mean, he was a great wrestler. And I, I could, uh, that day I remember seeing a switch in his eye and then he just became a pothead. <laughs> good switch? Yeah, it's a pretty good switch. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. You, so you didn't damage anything as a little kid? Um, I re- remember being late. Like when we had a curfew, you t- know. T- 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 time out. You remember being late? <laughs> well, it was bad because my mom was like, be home at this time. And I think it became like a habit. Like I just kept. Uh, how late? Like hours. Like I would just disregard any rules. Oh, you were oh, bad. You're a bad, bad girl. And Wednesday wrote, night, midnight, you come home? No, maybe like seven or eight. But I was in like fourth grade, third or fourth grade. Whoa. And what? Just... Who are you? What were you doing in third grade? Staying <laughs> I was just out till r- 9 p.m.? Riding my bike with my friend. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So we weren't doing nothing bad. But I remember when I stopped because I came home and my mom and sister set up the Christmas tree without me. Oh, wow. Was that the that was the payback? That's mm. how I would get punished. It was like uh, with guilt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did your parents ever give you the talk like what to do if like a van pulls up? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Two van guys. Ooh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey, can you help us with this couch? <laughs> <laughs> like lifting it? <laughs> They'll bring it into the... She's like nine. <laughs> yeah. What's she, she going to do with this couch? Because she's going to lift it and put it in the van. You want some candy? That's the <laughs> that's the original one. You never saw Silence of the Lamb. <laughs> All right, let's start over. Hey, you hey. want some candy? Yeah. We know your dad. You want some candy? It's no sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this is 2023. No, I don't know. Oh, the candy's vegan. It's vegan. Yeah, I mean, and um, yeah. Any of you want it? Uh, but you know my dad. I know your dad. Yeah, Cliff. That's Should not his name. That's his nickname. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Oh, you guys must know him better than me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you, hey, come in the van. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. These guys. You would have get... done that. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, but I remember one time we had this lake by my house and I was hanging out with my friend there, Miranda. She was a bad influence. Mm. And we were probably breaking the curfew. And this guy was fishing in the lake, which I, now that I look back is weird because I grew up in Tempe, Arizona. Mm-hmm. There's no fish in like- There's the no sub- fish in the sub- Tempe Town Lake. The no. suburban lake. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> but he like gave me a frozen fish. What? And I <laughs> brought it home to my mom. <laughs> she was like, we're not eating that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You can't, you know, this is a, you can't raise your kids in, in Phoenix. It's just, <laughs> you yeah. just can't. You can't. They tur- I mean, they're b- lovely that you turned out so wonderful, but man, we either turn out like completely <laughs> right wing yeah, or Doug Stanhope. Yeah. Or her. Or that. She's like, she's yeah. like, uh, you're like our Doug Stanhope. You're, <laughs> what's a, what's a female? You're like Debbie Stanhope. You're like Debbie yeah. Stanhope. I remember when we moved from the suburbs, I mean, from the city to the suburbs and I'll never forget they were like <clears throat> finishing up a plate, like a window that go that was above our front door, like a little window above our front door, you know. And the I'm kids, I'm the, trying to visualize. Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again. There was a window above our t- our front door, right? That like. Oh, like, I see. So it's like, let me look. I'm looking at the door. Yeah. And then I look up. Yeah. There's a what? Is it, there's a little like. Is it like? Um, it's it's big. It's a good size window. It's a and but for birds to peep. For birds to look in the house. Okay, okay. <laughs> and a couple of kids in the neighborhood threw a big rock through it and oh shattered it before we moved in, like before we were even out there. And then we went to visit the house because the contractor was like, kids broke in and did a bunch of damage to the house. Wow. And I remember, <clears throat> I remember being inside the living room and being so mad because I was like, I do this stuff. Ooh. You don't do this to me. Ah, like I was a little mm. asshole. I was like, oh, this is like the universe paying me back for being a little troublemaker. And I was like, ah, oh, 
I'm going to find out who did this. I'm going to kill those kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not kidding. I was so mad because I was like, they broke into my mom and dad's new house. Because this was our first house. Like, we would lived in an apartments until then. In the, oh, in the city. In the city. Yeah. And then I was like, they fucked up my mom's first house. Like, Oh, she bought it. Well, my my mom and my stepdad did. But I was like, <clears throat> this is the first time she lived in a home. Did you invest? Yeah, I, yeah, I invested. <laughs> okay. I, put, I think I put in like... I need to know the details. 30 or 40 yeah, dollars. bucks. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And I remember trying to find out who did it, and then I found out who did it, who in, was the, it? in the neighborhood. Let me guess. Yeah, say, guess his name. Starts with a B. Oh, B Bartholomew. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right? That's a name, right? Yeah, Bartholomew. Yeah. Bartholomew. Bartholomew Simpson. Yeah. Bartholomew J. Simpson. <laughs> yeah, good. He did it. And then the guys that I found out that did that, yeah. I became friends with. Of course, <laughs> of, course of course you did. Of course you did. They were the kids I got caught graffitiing with. Yeah, it was yeah. like, as soon as I found out, I was like, you guys threw a rock through my mom's window. And they were like, yeah, we're just fucking around. I was like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to be friends with them. Yeah. I was such a puss. I thought I was going to like fight these kids. But then I, I was like, I kind of like their vibe. Yeah. And they were like skateboarding and they were smoking. And I was like, wow. I got to hang out with these Were you guys. angry kid or no? I mean, I think I always harbored a little bit of like, uh, a little bit of anger. I mean, the fact that like it was single mom for a while, then she met my stepdad, who was great. Did you like him at first or no? No, I loved him. He was the man from the beginning. Yeah, I I thought he was so cool. He played basketball. I loved basketball. You mm. know what I mean? He he was like he was a cool dude and was so cool to my mom. So I loved him immediately because my dad wasn't around. So I was kind of I probably was upset. A therapist would tell you I'm upset from my dad not being around. Mm. But I was also bummed because when we moved to the suburbs, it was a weird thing. It was like a yeah. It just like shocked your core where you're like. I don't like this. I don't know anybody. I, I would sit around. I hated that. Like, I just didn't know. You, 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 it's hard to go out and make friends when you're a little kid, when you're the new kid and doesn't know. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I just didn't get it. It's funny. I, you, there's a documentary called, it was a book too. It was called Meet Me in the Bathroom. We, we, and we've talked mm -hmm. about it. I talked about it with um, JF last night. You, have you heard of it? Meet Me in the Bathroom? Meet Me in the Bathroom. No. No. It's about um, the um, late 90s, early 2000s music scene in New York. Okay. Right, and the Strokes, yeah, yeah, yes, Interpol, TV on the radio, all these bands from Brooklyn, Brooklyn and Manhattan, and back then it's like they were just like all like just creative and crazy and on subways, you know what I mean, and just you know just acting a fool. young and going young off. and fun, and I just I always knew that like when I grew up in the suburbs, I go this is not the environment for me. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. No, because when I look at those kids, I'm like, no, that's what I would, you know, yeah, I'd be doing that. Yeah, you wanted to be a troubled teen living in just the city. Just expression and like, you know what I mean? Being pe like with like-minded people. Yeah. I was with like Christians and, you know what I mean? And like weirdos. I don't know. I don't, now, I, Christians are great, by the way. I love them. But. Korean Christians though. Moons. Mooners. The Mooners. 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 Mooners are tough. Yeah, yeah. No, but I just remember feeling like a, a, just bummed out and I just didn't like it. And then my freshman year of high school, my this kid James Tickle was the first kid that I became friends with because he skated and he was good and he had a ramp in his, he had a little little quarter pipe in his basement. Yeah. A little mini. No, he had a mini in his basement. And, and we you would, did it? We don't go down there and skate. Oh, you're a skater? Yeah, I was. Yeah, when I was young. Wow. Did you like Bones Brigade and all that stuff? I did. I was a, like, I, I loved, I think like my favorite teams for the longest time. I, I always thought, I always thought Girl was awesome. Girls are great, yeah. You know, the like the, the Girl Chocolate Crew. I yeah, always, yeah, yeah. I, always, I like those two I'm a lot. I'm more Baker, Zero. Yeah, yeah, you like Toy that. Machine. Yeah, yeah, I like Toy Machine. I like Templeton. I like those guys. I thought they were cool, but Great like, artist. yeah, I, I, I just honestly, I never knew you knew anything about skateboarding. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that, I think that's a you know a commonality we have. That is Tommy Guerrero once was um in the OR. I mean Eric, um, you know, Eric, um Kevin Christie. Mm -hmm. We went bananas. Yeah, because he was a big skate fan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went bananas. Like it was like Tom Cruise walking in or whatever. <laughs> that's your Tom Cruise. He's my Tom Cruise. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Do you, do you like his teeth? Tom Cruise? Yeah. <laughs> Does he have new teeth? No, I just... His He's teeth, shooting a movie in space right now, by the way. His teeth just bother me. I don't know what it is. Are they too what? long? He fixed them. He fixed them? Yeah. Have yeah. you... Don't remember when he was a kid? Oh, like <laughs> 1981. You know when you join Scientology, they yeah. give you new teeth. They do? Yeah, they give you new teeth. That was his... <laughs> that, 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 that image on the left is fake. That's a... I'm doctored. His teeth are doctored for that role. It's not what his teeth look like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Him and, uh, no, he had normal teeth. I think he just got braces. They look like my teeth. Let me see. Your teeth look great. Dude, you have great teeth. I got to get gooder teeth, dude. I, <laughs> I so like many, your teeth. I have so many chips and chunks, and my teeth are so messed up. I Yo, like it, though. Why didn't you get them fixed? I, I kind of don't give a fuck. Yeah. 
Like, it's have like you a ever, beaver, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, it's like a, a vampire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen? Uh, look at look at Will Ferrell's uh, teeth. You want to see fun teeth? His bottom <laughs> teeth. I always notice because you know your bottom teeth start to grow together. Yeah, yeah. Look at look at those bottom. Yeah, oh wow! Funny. I love that dude. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> Yeah. Is that the Appalachians? Whoa, dude. But I've it's... always noticed that he didn't do anything to the bottom teeth, so mine are going to get that way. Well, too. at least, you know what, dude? At least, at least bleach them. No, I think, le- I think let them go. Who cares? Yeah. Let me ask you something. I, it's so funny. He's so he's so cool and funny that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, no, but, but I do think I do want to get them done. I do want to get something done. I've gone a few times. I need to get them like... I need to get certain ones fixed out because I have chips in all my teeth over the years. I, I think I chip the my chips te- look good though. Yeah. They're like a character trait. I know, but it looks bad on camera. I've never. Whoa! Who is that? <laughs> Anthony is that? Davis. Anthony Davis. Yeah. Wow. Before, when he was a rookie. Yeah, he got them fixed though, right? Of course. Yeah. That's nuts. That's- but his eyebrow remains. Yes. You got to keep the you got to keep the unibrow. Oh yeah, branding. There's something about unibrows that for some reason, it's like when you're a kid, you make fun of it, and then you see it with an adult, and you're like. I kind of like it. I don't know why. Interesting. The Frida Kahlo of it all. Mm. I like it. It's something cool. It's like yeah. such his face. Yeah, it looks cool. I used to shave between my eyebrows with a razor. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> when I was a kid, mine would grow in pretty heavily. Yeah, yeah. And Which is funny because it doesn't grow in at all anymore. Like I pluck it sometimes, you know, like, but rarely. Yeah. But when I was like in high school and my, my the, the puberty was like at full mass and I was growing tons of facial hair... I would have to shave. I would use a, a razor to shave in between my unibrow because I didn't know about plucking. I was embarrassed to ask my mom or dad about it. Mm. So I would get a face razor, and my mom was like, "Why do you want new face razors? You don't even shave. You don't even shave your face." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Yes, I do. I trim it up." <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I used uh. to shave between my eyebrows. Yeah, those are those things when you're a kid, like no one tells you, so you're not going to ask anybody. Yeah, you're so self conscious. It's like, I, and I was like. Mom, can I get Cavaricis? You know what I mean? And they're like, no Cavaricis, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, right. For you. And then one day they just, we were at Nordstrom's. And she bought and it. And I was, yeah, because I just begged and begged. And I wore them for a year and I just never wore them again. Nordstrom was nice. Your mom took you to Nordstrom's. Yeah, break, band dancing, you know, the break dancing yeah. pants? Oh, yeah. Did you buy those? No. Uh, well, you didn't break dance? I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did, but I had to use Adidas track pants. Just... <laughs> We didn't. Oh, really? have, we didn't have it like you, dog. Yeah. We didn't go to fucking Nordstrom's. We went to. We went to like Marshalls. Yeah. Marshalls was like. That's good. No, it's not. <laughs> I know it's terrible. Or we'd go to like uh, what was the other one? J C Penny. No, what was there was one more like with a K like Cole not Coles but there was another. One. I feel like there was one more that I can't remember the name of. We'd go to Nordstrom sometimes, but my mom would go to Nordstrom's when I know she needed something nice. Mm. And if she went to Bloomingdale's, downtown Chicago, I was like, what? That's. She's, I mean, that's like, was she buying a Ferrari? <laughs> In my mind, I was like blooming. When she had the little brown bag, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, my mom bought something like real <laughs> yeah. nice from the store. Did you do, um, um, before school started, you know, at the end of summer, did you go school shopping for clothes? Yeah, we did. My, my parents would do that. We did, but I would use, but see, I didn't go to department stores much uh, because I didn't like the clothes. I wanted to go to like uh, a skate store or I would go to I'd go to like one store and buy all the stuff uh, I wasn't good at I'm still to this day I told you that story I went to I went to the I took out money because I was like I need jeans this is like two years ago <laughs> and I was like you gotta buy new jeans dude you just gotta go get new jeans and I took out a thousand dollars cash or something like that I don't even remember how much I had I took out a bunch of cash and I was like you gotta just go get a couple pieces of clothing and I walked into the store and I saw someone that I knew personally mm. and I turned around and left <laughs> <laughs> Really? I immediately got in my car and went home. Yeah. I don't like Why? shopping. It just gives me a lot of anxiety. So don't, you don't go to you don't like going to the dressing not the dressing room or whatever and do try things on? That makes me so and sad. And come out from the mirror. I always do like pose. I know. <laughs> I really do. I, I do know. like this. This is one. You know, you know, I do this. I think because I kind of like, I, you ha- I have this like, I hate myself a little bit when I shop because I don't want to, I, I don't like, you know, if I'm, I don't like the way my body feels that day. Uh, so I'm like a chick. Yeah. I'll like get in the mirror and be like, fuck these fucking clothes, fuck this shit, bullshit. Mm-hmm. And I'll just leave. I'll get mad about it. <laughs> You're like an old school dad though. I just have insecurities about clothes. I don't like it. I never like, so I don't like going to shop and uh, it's not my thing. It doesn't, I do not like to go to a store and be like, I want this and this and this. Well, how'd you get the hat and the show? What the fuck happened? What do you mean? This is just a t-shirt from Kith. 
<laughs> I ordered it on the internet. Oh, you did? Yeah, and this okay. hat was also bought online. Oh, wow, that's interesting to me. I can't go into a store. I don't like going to stores and shopping. It bothers me so much. I don't know what it is, but it gives me like an uneasy feeling in my chest. That's with all, like if you buy spoons. Yeah, spoons freak me out the most. <laughs> you go in there, spoons drive me nuts. What size am I getting? Mm. Are you... It, what shape? Too big? Too small? I don't know if these are going to be fit in the slot. I'm being 100% serious. Are you being real? This stuff like that drives me cr crazy. Oh, I love shopping for spoons. I, well, you're a spoon man. Yeah, I'm a spoon man. I'm the spoon, spoon man. man. DoorDash. You know, Andrew and I travel a lot. A lot. And, you know, sometimes we're at, in a town and we need food mm -hmm. or groceries and whatnot. DoorDash is the number one delivery system here. It's ins You know what's so good about it? If you're missing something, you know, you're missing uh, syrup for the pancakes or jelly for your peanut butter and jelly, or you ran out of your favorite coffee creamer, DoorDash grocery delivery now, you can get what you want oh my right God. now what when you need it. convenience. This convenience of getting what you want right to your door is incredible. DoorDash grocery, uh, it saves all this hassle of getting in your car when you're in the middle of doing 10 other things and you have to go to the store and wait in line. No, thank you. They will get it for you. You get exactly what you order. I get cat litter. You do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do get Not cat for my litter. cats, for me. <laughs> for you just to roll yeah, around yeah, I love it yeah and that's not that big of a deal uh i actually just door dashed last week door i did door dash grocery delivery mm. and i got myself some veggies because i had the meat but i didn't have no veggies and i was like i don't want to go to the vegetable aisle i just get on door dash uh, grocery delivery what? and they bring it to you yeah when i go to hawaii there's a tonkatsu restaurant that's only on door dash because they have the best restaurants they do yeah it's the best anyway yeah, get 50 percent off your first door dash order up to a ten dollar value when you use the code friend 2023 at checkout. Limited time offer terms apply. That's 50% off, up to $10 on a 15 min subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code FRIEND2023. That's FRIEND2023. Don't forget, that's code FRIEND2023 for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Bespoke Post! You guys, the best gift gift to give anyone is a box of awesome from bespoke post that's right one of my favorite things about getting a box of awesome from bespoke post every month is how it sneaks up on you you forget that it's coming and then one day boom on your front door you get the best box you'll open all month filled with carefully chosen gear from the best small brands around the world let's see what i got this month this is called the drift and in the drift i'm very excited look at this got myself a lumi light bulb flicker free sleep Love it. Amazing. The best part about these boxes, they yeah. surprise you. It's 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 like it's a Christmas every single day. It's a joy. And Hawkins and Brimble, <laughs> facial scrub, which you and I both need because we're going to break out on the bus tour and you My know that. My face is so, uh, yeah, I need scrubs. Also, Hawkins and Brimble sent some daily energizing moisturizer. The best part is, seriously, these are all small brands. It's curated. And how you do this is you go to boxofawesome.com. You take this quiz. Your answers are going to help them pick the best box of awesome for you. They release new boxes every single month across a ton of different categories. And each box is valued around 70 bucks. You're going to pay a fraction. Gravity razors. Like if you're into food too, I like the carnivore. The oh, American yeah. barbecue rub in the yeah. carnivore box is made by the great American spice company in Rockford, Michigan. Rockford, Michigan, baby. The Midwest. So here's the deal. Not just for you, you can also get it for somebody else. Or you can be selfish and get it for yourself because it's awesome to have a box of awesome. Uh, get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. That's boxofawesome.com. Enter the code BADFRIENDS at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com and enter the code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Boxofawesome.com. Enter the code BADFRIENDS today. The only <laughs> way I like shopping yeah. uh, is for somebody else. Uh, I'm not playing. I'm not. I'm, I know that sounds like, oh, but no, really. Like, if I have to buy her something, love it. Because mm. then it's like, I don't feel guilty about the money because it's not for me. And then also it's like I get to know that someone else gets is going to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For me, it's my worry of the money. Why am I spending this money? Because I've always had that because of my fucking parents. And then I'm like, I don't need it. it I, it's a suit. It's an insecurity I've always had. I don't know why. But if 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 I had to buy you like a five thousand dollar gift, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I literally would be like, OK, I'll buy it for Bob. Yeah. Because I just, I've always had that weird thing in my mind where I'm like, you don't deserve that. You don't need that. But if it's for someone else, I wouldn't even think twice about it. Yeah. You know that, that game you play in Christmas where like everyone buys one thing, you put it in the, big, in the middle of the room. Uh, white elephant? Yeah, white yeah. elephant. Yeah. And they always say, well, you know, it's only a $100 minimum. Oh, yeah. Right? I always buy a thousand. <laughs> Do you know why? Because I want somebody to go, like, who got me this fucking mm -hmm. computer? Yeah. Right? And I'm like. I don't know. Who would buy a MacBook Pro <laughs> with two terabytes with the new M2 chip? Well, you know. You are invited to our uh, this year's <laughs> yeah, yeah, White yeah, Elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. And then you walk out of there with a new set of spoons from <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. thanks. No, thank you. Do you Are you like that with stuff, with shopping and stuff? I love shopping. You love it. What do you love? I like clothes. I like clothes and I 
and like especially clothes to wear on stage. Like, but I feel like you like vintage stuff, right? Don't you like yeah, throwback shit? Thrift shopping, yeah, is thrift cool. shopping, yeah. And like independent, like like I like going on Melrose because there's smaller. Melrose office. is all independent, right? Yeah. That's all from stuff downtown. So it's like cool stuff. It's not like you know a bunch of mass produced like of the same shirt oh yeah like no one's gonna have the thing that you're wearing yeah like, almost like thrift store you like thrift stores yeah me too we should do a thing where we all pick a name out of a hat and we have to buy the person we pick's outfit for the day mm -hmm. oh that's fun this is a game that people do on tiktok have you seen this where the mm -hmm. a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend for the date for the night well they'll go to salvation army or they'll go to a thrift store and they'll go to like the pants and the shirts and the something and the something. And then they'll close their eyes and they run their hands down the line of their size, like in the large or whatever. And and they close their eyes and the other person says, stop. And then they have to wear that shirt for the night. And then they have to wear oh, those that's pants. Cool. That's fun. We should play that <laughs> game. Okay, let's do we that. Do so that. we'll have to do that for one of the cities. We'll we also have to do this. We have to go to an old school mall in the Midwest and go to some weird photography studio. Yeah. yeah. Photo <laughs> and then take photos and like go dress like... From the 80s. 100%. We have to do that. I'm so down. <laughs> On a day off. Well, That'd no, I fun. think we should... Everybody does old school. Let's dress like we're from the future. Let's wear shit that mm. doesn't exist. But no, we go to the thrift <laughs> store and pick out stuff that we think is going to be in the future. In the future. Uh, I'm down. Let's do that. I miss malls so much. Me too. Did you guys hang out in malls when you were a kid or no? Yeah, when the Chandler... A fashion Ooh, that mall. fashion mall. When that opened up. It boy, was oh boy. packed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We had UTC. Yeah. You know what UTC is? Mm -mm. You ever see Fer uh, Ferris... Not Ferris. Do um, you ever see... Um, with Sean Penn. Oh, Fast Times. Fast Times at Richmond High. It was based on that mall. We had that in San Diego. UTC. Yeah. That's like the mall. There was the mall. It's in La Jolla. Mm -hmm. And then we had North Park County Fair. Whoa. Yeah, it was the best. Back up. And I used to drop acid. and just I, You know when people drop acid, they go, let's go to the nature. Not me. I want to go to the mall. Oh, oh my God. No. That's like a nightmare for yeah. me. That's what I like. <laughs> That's crazy. That. Yeah, I like It's like everything's Hellraiser. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, is the a... spike guy with the yeah, yeah, it's the bastard. Welcome to Pacific Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. Spencer's gifts went off. Yeah, you're a nature guy then. <clears throat> when I do drugs, like hundred percent hallucinogenics. Put me to the sea. Put me by the water. Put me by. Put me by like uh, mountain ranges. I don't. I don't want to be near a bunch of humans when I'm on drugs. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. I like it. I want to ingest the earth. Because I'm taking the earth in my body. I want to see the earth and feel it while I'm tripping. I Actually, one time, though, me and my buddy Tyler got high as shit on mushrooms and went to a haunted house. Because we were like, let's see how fucked up we could get. And we were in line for this haunted house and we started tripping balls. <laughs> and the whole time, like, I almost wanted to hold his hand. I was freaking the fuck out. Just in line to get in this. Because it was a haunted house in the middle of, like, cornfields in, like, rural Illinois. Whoa. Oh, it was so dope. They turned, like, an old farmhouse into a... They do this all the time because yeah. Illinois... Once you get way, way out, you go two hours out, it's fucking nothingness, you know? Yeah. So we drove out there and we ate the mushrooms on the way, <clears throat> tried to time it perfectly, which we did. And by the time we got there, we're waiting in line and I was having a full fucking panic attack mm -hmm. because I heard the noises coming from inside <laughs> and then also people's conversations. It was like flowing over me, wow. through me. So it sounded like a lot of like the screams were behind me oh. in line while Ooh. I was waiting. I don't like and it. And these two chicks... We're in line with us and had to have been, you know, somewhere in the same similar age range. They seem maybe a little older than us. And they were like, Are you guys scared? And my and Tyler was like, We're on shrooms. <laughs> yeah. This chick was like, Oh, cool. Yeah. Walk with us. We're scared. And at, <laughs> and at first I was like, I don't want to be near other people. I don't want to be near other people. But she like held on to us, like the girls would grab onto us while we were walking into the house. And it like like centered the fuck out of me. <laughs> And for some reason, I felt like I, I was so tripping. I was like, I'm her protector. I have to be strong right oh, you now. Became, you became a knight. A knight. Wow. A, 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 a high knight. Yeah. So I was ripped out of my head and I was holding her close. And I was trying like every time something would jump out, I would like flinch a little bit and then get real tight and be like, get out of here. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was so ripped. Wow. And then we, after the, at the end of it, I thought, okay, we made it through this thing. <clears throat> like we made it through the haunted house. I was like, these chicks are going to want to hang out with us. And they're like, later. And they just got in their car and fucked <laughs> off. Oh. And then we had to wait until we calmed down to be able to drive home because I was still f lit up. So we had to like go to like the snack shop nearby and just sit. And Is that eat. a store? Huh? Is that an actual restaurant? Snack it, shop? No, it was like a little, like a little, like a little cafe was next to it for like hot chocolate and was all that stuff. Was it called Snack Shop though? Snack Shop. Snack Shop. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it was no, it was called Snatch Shop. It was a big <laughs> vagina outside. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And you had to hit the clip to get it let oh, in. Oh, I love it. And we just sat there and watched people coming out of the haunted house for like an hour so we could like cool our high down before we drove home. Because I was ripped. He was like, can you drive? I'm like, no, dude. No, no. <laughs> Things are moving. Yeah. I couldn't do it. 
we gotta go to Hell House. What is Hell House? You know Hell House, right? No. You know Hell House? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a it's a haunted um house. I love haunted houses. In Texas, run by Christians. Oh. Say no more. And then you go to a room, and it's like a woman like get, getting an abortion. Whoa, no way! And then a demon in back of them, like a, someone will play the devil. Uh huh. And at the end of the fucking haunted house, you go into a room, and they try to convert you. There was a documentary called Hell House. Is this just church? <laughs> what do you mean? This is just church. Yeah, but it's like there's murder and there's yeah. scenes going on. This is real. Yeah, Cedar yeah it's Hill, real. Texas. Yeah. What? It's Texas, in Cedar right? Hill, Texas. Yeah, in- Sugar Hill. Yeah. How close are we to Sugar Hill on our trip? Cedar Hill. <laughs> Cedar Hill. Yeah, but it's not. It's it's not in October. They only do it in October. Oh. They only do it in October. It's a haunted house for Halloween. Oh, uh, for church. Yeah, for church, and people go, and it's like. Um, well, I guess it's worth the trip. So we'll have to. Oh, it's outside of Dallas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right. They there still do it. Uh, it says. I mean, I think it's Halloween only because it said permanently closed. Dude, there should be around the year uh, haunted house. Don't we think there should be haunted houses year round? There should be at least one. I mean, fucking Halloween Town in Burbank stays open all year. Yeah. We could just wander around a Walmart. <laughs> That's a haunted house. But if we had a haunted, house, <laughs> if we had a haunted house, we kill one person a year, so you have that fear. Oh, yeah. Right. If you kill one person a year, if we had a haunted house, people would be like, "Dude, we could die." Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, Ramon Felizes died. <laughs> Are we all, we're all from San Diego in this scenario. <laughs> well, I, we, we could die. Well, I'm from San Diego, so Ramon Feliz fucking got decapitated, dude. Yeah, dude. You fucking I mean? sick, so, dude. But this is fucking awesome because I never, I've never, I've been on the 50 times through this, and I've never fucking died, dude. Never died yet, dude. Yeah, I did. So you know, why does everybody from San Diego sound like that? Why does everybody sound like that? Oh, hey, what's up? Because it's cool. Oh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> what's up, dude? That's my college roommate. Yeah, he, he's from San Diego. <laughs> Fucking Santino, dude. Fucking, uh, you fucking, you, you just get, you get a case of Natty Light, we can fucking get lit up, dude. Yeah. That's exactly what he sounded like. Yeah. Or you go to a beach and you, in San Diego, you can't go in the water because the locals, they'll fuck you up. Yeah. They'll walk, my brother and I had boogie boards once and we were at Wind and Sea. Mm-hmm. Surfer, dude, locals only. You're like, what? I am local. No, you're from, where are you from, man? Poway. And that's not local. You have to be on that street. Almost. Whoa. It's well, like, that's fu- how territory. Oh, they would fuck you up. That's awesome. They, no, it's not. What do you mean that's awesome? Because <laughs> they don't own it. Yes, they do. Maybe. Yeah, they do, dude. <laughs> Locals only, dog. Yeah. You would be that way. You would 100% uh-huh. be that way. If you lived in that part, you would absolutely be like, Locals only, bitch. You would, you would 100% be the guy that fought people that came into the Locals only. I don't only. know, man. Yeah, we all said yes. Everyone nodded <laughs> off. You're absolutely that guy. You're 100% that guy. That's like, true because it, when I grew up inland, we mm. had an oak tree. <laughs> And no one was allowed at the no. fucking oak tree, dude. <laughs> dude, the people would look at the oak tree like, Mem- locals only, dude. Like some kid would come up and be like, I- I'm-, I'm from I'm from Playa. And you're like, get the fuck like, out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah, trees there are in Playa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like I was very territorial over that tree. What did you guys have in high school that was like, like we had the, we had the enchanted forest was like a little forest like deep behind the high school where people would like do drugs or get into fights or hook up and all that stuff. Did you guys have like a forest or a meetup spot like that? No, you didn't. <laughs> what did I you have guys? No friends. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, did I you mean, have a spot. You... I was it so. It's such a nerdy answer, but it was just like the arts building. <laughs> we no. Just oh no, I know Denny's. Denny's. <laughs> oh Denny's, right. Mm. Ours was Taco Bell. Really? Yeah. Everyone has like a restaurant. Or or well, we would go to gr- Grandma's. Grandma's was an old restaurant, like an old diner. Twenty four hour. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. we did a burrito express. The B Express. Yeah. Good. My friend Jensen, good. sixteen years old. We were at. Are you talking about Jensen Carp? No, because you said Jensen, the other the Jensen Roof, who was my best, one of my best oh, friends. Okay, and Roof, um, he great talented guy. Is he dead? No, he's alive. Where is he, he at? L.A. Well, call him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he's mad at me. Why? He's been mad at me for years. What did you do? Because I won't call him back. Interesting. The reason why I won't call him back <laughs> is because when I the last time I hooked up with him, he still plays that game. And I don't like it. Don't say hooked up with him. Yeah, that's that not was the right sweet. verbiage. The last time I hung out with him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, guys don't usually say hook up with other guys. We fucked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, be more clear about oh, it. Sorry, yeah. No, um, he does this thing where like he'll touch me and run away. How old is this man? Like he did that three years ago. So How I was, old is the man now? My age. And he just touches you and leaves? He giggles and then I have to touch him back. He's playing tag. It's like whoever gets the last touch wins. That's yeah, that's so we're just yeah. running around that's, a that's restaurant. Just tag. Yeah. And it's like, I remember the last time we did, I was like, I can't do this anymore. Does he have Asperger's? No, he's talented. 47 years old, running around a restaurant. 
Right? I go, you can't use, you can't use a table <laughs> to separate us. You know, we're arguing that way, you know what I mean? And I just realized, like, I, this, I can't, we did that as kids. We still play the fucking game. Why not, though? We talked the other day about wanting to be more kiddy. Like, you want to be like a kid and have fun and stop being so, you know, adult. So let's do it. Well, maybe if it's more violent, I would do it. Like tag with guns. No, 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 no. no. Bam, you're it. No, but like a punch to the ass or something. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Anyway, when I was 16, Jensen, we were at the Denny's, the local Denny's, mm -hmm. and he saw a girl there, uh, Andrea. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he goes, she, she's hot. And I go, well, introduce you. And he went up and introduced himself. They're still married to this day. No way. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's wow. gorgeous. Yeah. So he has Asperger's though, for real. No. <laughs> yeah, he does. He what has... is Asperger? He likes. What? What's Asperger's? It's is a burger made out of ass? <laughs> yeah, it's a form of autism. It's oh, on the spectrum. Oh, no, I've heard of it. Yeah. I saw the show. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, you don't have old friends you grew up with, like, still do bullshit, like, brings up stories from when you were 14. Remember uh -huh. fucking Andrew, dude? And he fucking got his nutsack fucking tied up in that fucking branch? <laughs> First of all, love that story. Oh, yeah. Remember that day you did that, dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? When I connect with people that I grew up with, we talk about the times that we had together when we were younger. That's what everybody does when you get older. That's not it. unusual. There's one story there they always go, remember you drank pee to me? Well, that's because your stories are, are hard to hear. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because you have a lot of stories where it's like that. Like, remember, you know, no, we, that was remember not... when we all put stuff in your butt that no, one no, night? That's not, that's not, no, no, no. And you cried all the way home. And no, it was jellyfish. Jellyfish. You know, I was in Hawaii at 16, and I had jellyfish markings on my body. Yeah. Right? And they go, you, you pee. You have to let other people pee on you. Well, I didn't know. I, I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> like, they weren't specific. You have to put it on the skin. Yeah. Yeah. But I went behind a tree. I go, I don't want one. I don't want And I took a sip of it. Mm. And I came back, and I saw everyone putting it on their body. They go, you have to put it on your body? Do you drink your own pee or somebody else's? Mine. Else? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like, no. ah, you idiot. You drank the pee. And I'm like, you got to be specific. You do, though. That's actually, right? that's actually their fault. Yeah. Like, you know, like Bengay, for instance. Mm -hmm. Right? On the Bengay things, it doesn't say you don't put it on your genitals. They should mm. put that on there. Do you put it on your genitals? Have you tried it? <laughs> no. It it's hurts yeah. so bad. It doesn't seem like it belongs there. I know, I know <laughs> but I tried it. Because isn't Bengay for your butt? No, Bengay is for muscles. Yeah. What's like the one for your hot. butt? Preparation H. That, Preparation that H. one's for hemorrhoids. Yeah, yeah. So we, wait. Dude, we got to play a game where you, you and I put Bengay on our penises. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's such a fun game. It's but, funny. But, okay, well then you're putting it on your pussy. <laughs> yeah, you think it's, you think it's so ha-ha. Yeah, you're yeah. getting involved. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down to do it. Everyone has to put it on each other then. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, put it on yourself. God damn it. Yeah. So anyway, I don't like old stories. Well, I don't understand. It's a connection to, to your youth and to your history. But, you, but guys, sometimes guys do it every time you, they see you. I know because- Remember, maybe, dude? Your stories like, are funny and embarrassing, so they're funny to talk about. Let's move on. I understand. You know what I, mean? I drank the pee, you know? <laughs> 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 What's so funny? Dude, it's so funny that you didn't, even, you didn't ask anybody. You no, just the, you drank the pee. I got jellyfish, pee. That's all they said. Urine, dude, your own urine. Really? Yeah. I'm not doing it in front of you. I went behind a tree. That's you know what? what? Honestly, yeah. I'm on your team on this. Thank one. you so much. Here's why. Why? Because if some, if you're like jellyfishing, you're like, well, pee. It's got to be pee. In your mind, you wouldn't go. Well, I should piss on myself. Right. How do you do that? Right. You would never yeah. think that you're gonna. Well, they gave me a cup. Oh well, then that was probably a tell. That that, that no, you should. Do you drink it? That you drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where your brain went. They gave you that. They gave you a cup. A one of those red plastic. A solo cup. cup. Yeah, a solo cup. Yeah. I'm, and I, I pee, and I'm like, you think two Here things. Here we go. And I was like. You, know. you get a solo cup and someone says, Pete, you either think we're playing a weird game of beer pong. Yeah. Or I'm going to drink my own piss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I get it. Can I ask you another question about pee? Yeah. I'm being real. And then okay. we'll move on. <laughs> we, can, we can move on from it? I, I'm saying we'll- Maybe I shouldn't even ask Let's question. get this one out of the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Just, Why are you so uncomfortable about it? No, no, no. I just think uh, <laughs> pee pee poo poo, we can get, we'll have to get through at some point. Oh, I mean, we only talked about it for two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to save it for later. No, I want it right now. Okay. Really? Yeah. Because some, because when you pee, it's mm -hmm. all the same. Sorry? Like, when you pee every time, it's like yellow and warm. That's right. Right? Yeah. But you drink all kinds of liquids. It's interesting, is it not? That it comes out like that? One way. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the darker the pee, the worse it is. It means you're more dehydrated. No, I heard that there's more vitamins in your system. <laughs> it depends. Mm, if, it depends. If, if you you're flush vitamins. with vitamins, then it could be a, a, a brighter yellow. Oh, I see. But you're not. 
if your personal Bobby Lee, not humans, if your piece coming out really dark yellow, bad, yeah. okay. bad news. Okay. Yeah. Tell me if that happens. Oh yeah. What is that? Every time. <laughs> What's well, dark? Okay. And murky. You know what it reminds me of? The water on Yoda's planet. <laughs> <laughs> Degaba system. Degaba system. Let's look up the water on Yoda's planet. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, drink yeah. that water. Yeah. Yeah, drink some water. How many? How, how much water do you drink during the day? Honestly. Sometimes never. <gasps> during the day, sometimes you never have a sip of, of H2O. Uh, let's start. Let's do that. Now. Let's start doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's because. Yeah. Well, what does it do, though? It keeps you alive. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. It's the What's literal. So funny, man. It's the only thing I'm you learning. Need. Fancy, don't laugh at him. General recommendations of the National Academy of Medicine suggest an adequate intake of daily fluids about 13 cups and 9 cups for healthy men and women. 13 cups is repulsive. That's so much water. 13 cups of water? You seem yeah. to be drinking it all day. Basically. You're supposed to be drinking it all day long. Yeah. Mm. But you can live without it. How long can you live without water? It's only like three days, three or four days? Three days. And then your muscles atrophy and they drain themselves and then you die? Yeah. Three days. The body needs a lot of water to carry out essential functions. So three days, dude. Okay. When was last you time learn, you, you learn something new every day? Yeah, something I think you'd know by now at fifty-one. <laughs> but I sometimes I haven't gotten around to it. But I got to tell you, if you've lasted this long without <laughs> drinking water, like there was a guy on one of those My Strange Addiction or whatever who only drank Coke and never drank water. But isn't that a form of water? Water is in there. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, it's yeah. not a healthy amount. Yeah. You know, it, there's a person that only drank Coke, and so if I was on some sort of deserted fucking planet. Mm. And I only had Diet Coke. Deserted island or planet? Planet. So there's Diet Coke in outer space? There's a vendor. God bless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's one of those machines. Yeah, there's just a Diet Coke machine that's just getting filled there's up. Only, by... Also, there needs to be a coin machine next to it. Can you imagine? Aliens are like, we have to give them Diet Coke. <laughs> but like, if you're... And, and there's oxygen on this planet, but it's okay. deserted. Could you not survive off of that as a liquid or no? No. Well, I, uh, okay, let's see. Growing body of the engine suggests that diet soda consumption correlates with an increased risk of a wide range of medical conditions, heart conditions, heart attack, high blood pressure, metabolic issues, including diabetes, obesity, brain conditions, dementia, and stroke. Good. Okay. I would love a Diet Coke right now, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Okay. I'm never going to drink it again. No, this is just in moderation. It just means okay, if you okay. drink it all the time. Carlos right. is drinking Let's move on from right Pumpy. Yeah. Let's move on from Pumpy. This is no Pumpy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Pumpy. How long do you think you could last on a deserted island? I keep watching that nature show. How long do you really think you could last genuinely on a deserted island? A deserted island or a forest? Uh, this, no, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, that's actually yeah, yeah. a very good question. Yeah. How about how about on a what kind of island is it? How about this on a deserted part of the world, right? Where, um, where there is things to forage, like there are there are berries. There's because food. if you go to Canada and some of their islands are like you know big trees, sure, it's very there, foresty. There, way up north. Uh, okay, so how long would I survive? Yeah, with the knowledge I have now, right now, I think two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, that's f really long. That's a long time. Well, I know how to do water. Do how? <laughs> what do you mean how? What do you mean I know how to do water? I know how to make water. How do you make water? Well, you go to a river, mm. right? And then you dig a little hole next to the river. Mm -hmm. The soil filters out all the bad stuff, and you drink the water from the hole that you made. Mm. Oh. What? I didn't know that. That's true. It's partially true. Oh. It doesn't mean it's not going to be. It's not going. It doesn't mean bacteria can't because get I don't to have it. like. I, It'll I, be cleaner than if it's. Yeah, but I, I, I don't. I don't know how to make a fire. Do you? Well, I mean, I know, I know, hypothetically, how to make a fire. Yeah, I do too, hypothetically, but. If I'm if I have no tools, I'm on an island, right? I'm like I I don't know what a flint looks like. Well, I mean, you, you could get anything that creates yeah, but a it's spark. A, up north, it's very damp. Yeah, I know the damp. It's very is difficult. Weak. Yeah, so it'd be it's tough. like for me, I'd be like, no, I would have to do that, and I would try to eat like acorns. Well, you def that you definitely can't eat. Why? It's a nut. I, I know, but how are you going to get the acorn before they fall to the ground? You're not going to climb a tree. They fall from the tree like apples do. Uh, but acorns, you're not going to eat acorns. Toxic to humans. Oh, fuck. Well, then forget that. <laughs> forget the acorns. One day. Berries. I would eat berries, yeah. Berries. That's better. But you wouldn't kill an animal. I would try. Like a weekend. <laughs> yeah. But there's no way. Because even professionals have a hard time doing that. They do. Yeah. I agree. So probably two weeks. You know what I would do? I'd know how to get an animal, by the way. How? In the wild. I would get on all fours. And spread spread sex, my butt sex. cheeks, yeah, and I try to, and I would do noises <laughs> to try to get it. And I'm like, 
uh, I'm coming up to it. <laughs> right? And then, right? And then what do you do? Stab from behind? Imagine you think that you're going to catch an animal by doing a mating call. Yeah. And it comes up and starts having sex with you, but you love it so much that you can't kill it and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what you do? You let them enter and you clinch your butthole so they're stuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they're trying to get away. And then, I don't know how what I would have. Well, to you'd do. Yeah, you'd have to use it. Well, you'd have to use a jujitsu technique for sure. All right. Just armbar the bear. I'll, I'll call. Uh, Ed, um, what's Eddie? Uh, what's his name? Who? Joe Rogan's got Eddie. Um, Eddie Bravo. Eddie Bravo. Yeah. yeah do yeah. I have a cell phone? Mm-hmm. I have one cell phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the bear has a phone. Yeah. Oh, the bear does. Yeah. He's so, oh, yeah, he's yeah. T-Mobile. Yeah. So he, it slips out of his pocket. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know what I mean? Or, they have pouches like kangaroos. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. So I, I I grab it, Eddie. I think I would call Eddie before the you know, Coast Guard. Or... You got to call him first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So here's the deal. This is the situation I, I'm in. You know. Mm -hmm. And now you've asked me for many many years to take your class. I apologize for that. No. My bad. Now help me. Now help me. Yeah. He so. Won't. I have a black bear, right, <laughs> inserted inside of my, my anus. An African American bear. It, I, oh, so my, that's on uh, my bad. Yeah, careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have an African American <laughs> bear, right, and it's like African American bears' lives matter. <laughs> I would say that just for the optics of it. Well, you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they do. Right, he's about to come, mm -hmm. <laughs> right, but I've, I've clinched it. Because you know, Eddie, I have a very tight ball. I I don't I know that bro yeah you know that right mm -hmm. and so what do I do do I do do I try to grab his head and do a roll you know what I mean I mean what what's your suggestion I think uh, let him finish and then take him out for a meal <laughs> <laughs> oh I see That's it. yeah how long would you last on a on, on like on a in a in a wilderness situation. I'm not sure because I don't know a lot of survival techniques, but I think I have a high threshold for pain. And you do? I, and I'm like one. I could become like one with nature pretty easy. All right, Whoa. let's test the threshold. Can we? Can we fight you? Yeah. I think we should do a bus fight. You want to do bus boxing? Well, do bus boxing. But you guys, you it's got to be like each person can call it at any time in the trip. Yeah. So you just yell bus fight. Bus fight. Bus yeah. fight could be two thir two three in the morning. Bus fight. You got to wake you up. And you gotta fight. Yeah, I would fuck you up, man. <laughs> I'd love to see I know, you two you, fight. You, he I does fight fuck, me all the time. <laughs> I would fuck you up, man. I yeah. really want to see you guys fight. No, I would never hurt her. I could take both of you on at once. I don't think you could. I'd fuck both of you guys up so bad. It'd be insane. <laughs> at, 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 the, at the same time, 100%. there's no fucking way. I would beat the yeah. fucking shit out of you guys. He'd get his nine iron. <laughs> no weapons, though. Hey, barehanded? These are my fucking weapons. Yeah. Dude, you against me and you, doesn't matter. Whatever you guys try to concoct, I'll you, fucking kill you, you both. You have no idea, dude, about my legs. Dude, you little roly-poly, I'll eat you alive. No, yeah, I but... have, dude, I A have- A couple of fucking these sandwiches to your fucking stupid little face, <laughs> you're gone, dude. You're fucking out, <laughs> out cold. I have HRS. Herpes? No. <laughs> Hidden- Strength. <laughs> 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 All right, so don't fuck with them. Let me tell you, you the never part isn't hidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have RS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, it's just RS. You have just RS. <laughs> it's not hidden. Is that <laughs> even, not even a little I bit. RS. It's not right. hidden. No, because you would focus on her. I would sneak up behind you, put you in a, put you in a rear naked chokehold. The naked part you love the most. For yeah, some yeah. Reason. I don't I, like that it's called that. There, you're not naked when you do it. Yeah. Do what? what? The rear naked choke. Just call it a rear chokehold. Yeah. Why isn't he be called naked? I know this episode's going to come out much later. Did you watch the fights yesterday? No. This speech was fucking awesome. He grabbed the mic from from Rogan and look, I'm not a big uh, UFC guy. Mm. I I don't really watch it, but on TikTok, this speech was like going viral. He's giving himself props for being the shit, but yeah, also because he didn't thank Jesus. Yeah, he did. Oh, he did? He said, I'm blessed to be able to do this again and again and again. Oh. A blessing is saying I'm thanking the universe for okay, something. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's appreciating the world. But the way he's saying it, he's saying, look at what I did, but take from this that you can do something. Yeah. If you, but you have to fucking do it. You got to stop saying, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I thought that was so great. I watched that like four or five times this morning in bed being like, what a great fucking message. Because he's not saying become a fighter. He's not saying, do. he's saying, get out of your own fucking way. Do the thing. So you can feel this feeling of 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 joy and happiness at least once in your life. Yeah, it's it's great inspiration, dude. It's for me. I'm dumb, kind of. Yes. What? I'm agreeing like that with fast? you. Fast? What? 
It wasn't Usually that when fast. I say that, people are like, no, you have your... Uh, say it again. Start again. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm sorry. Bro? I'm dumb. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, buddy. Um, I really, you know, I'm lazy. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I procrastinate. Yes. Yeah. The only thing that I've done right in my whole entire life... This podcast. This podcast. But, but, it, but this... Um, it, stand up, you know, walking through the fear of going on stage and doing that repeatedly is the only thing that I did right. And it gave me such a big and beautiful life, right? So it's like, I mean, I just love that speech. It's the same yeah. thing, right? Like, you know, we we have that one thing where it's like, I'm gonna try this scary thing. And um, that's all I've done. And it worked. It worked. Oh, it's working. It it's continues working. to and, work. And, 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 you know, anyone out there, it's like, I know it's scary. Oh, it is. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, well, only this amount of people make it or whatever. You can't think that way. Just do whatever you think you need to you do. You have to do it. You have to do it. Yeah, yeah. Right, Juice? That's how I felt after Vancouver. That is how you felt. That <laughs> moment of happiness. Yeah. And you're going to feel it again and again and again. Ooh. Let's go to Juicy's Corner real fast. And uh, Juicy, Juicy Ju welcome back to Juicy's Corner. <laughs> we want to throw it to Juice because she wants to tell us something pretty important. Oh, awesome. Whenever you're ready, Juice, you go ahead. Thank you for being a bad friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. We're not, 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 done. Yet. not yet. We're not done. <laughs> Talking don't get about. that shortcut. Huh? <laughs> shortcut. Yeah, she's trying to get out of it, huh? I don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, no, it's that, I know what you're, he's talking about. It's that <laughs> inspiring, because when we were in Vancouver backstage, you gave me that five minute inspirational talk mm -hmm. about life and about, you know what I mean, connections. Do about, your, let's hear your style bender talk. Yeah, I want to see yours. Because oh the, the fans at home want to know, how did you get from 10K to 100K? They think, how did she do it? Let's give her a different sport, though. Like, what sport would it be? Rugby. Sure. Yeah, you're, you're a professional rugby player. Yes, you are. For the, you know, um, Los Feliz Chipnucks. <laughs> the Chipnucks have been pretty good the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to have season tickets. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you, to the Chipnucks? Yeah, I always uh, sold them on SeatGeek, though. Oh, okay. So yeah. your rugby team, Chipnuck captain, right? And you're in the men's league. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm, controversial. You just won yeah. the fucking... <laughs> what? Controversial. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You just won the East LA Provisional Championship. Two teams in it. <laughs> <laughs> you and Echo Park. Yeah, you and Echo Park. But you still beat them. Right. And there's like eight people in the you know, audience. <laughs> but they're like, they love it. Right? What sport is it? Rugby. 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 Yeah, yeah. Eight people in the crowd, two of them are blind. So I'm the I'm the <laughs> I'm the Rogan y you know what I mean guy. Right. Yeah, you you are. grab the mic, you know what I mean? Yeah, here, let me just take this real quick. Will you and give it back? It, I got the mic now. Shut up. Hey, listen, I can't believe where I am. At Los Feliz, I just won the rugby championship, and I just want you guys to know that if you work hard and you meet somebody uh, more famous than you in the rugby division, uh, they will build your following 10 times, and they will give you a platform to shine. And if you just practice your rugby skills and you get that platform, you're gonna make it. And, I, and thank it's you rugby, God. not golf. <laughs> <laughs> What's the golf? No, this is a rub. That's a rub. Oh, People oh, really? do that when they in rugby when you score, everyone goes. Like, oh. <sighs> yeah. yeah, it's part of the celebration. Is it cricket? No, it's just a part of the celebration. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it's like saying yes. Oh, I that's what it is. I yeah, think yeah. I would know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you would know. Don't ever question her again, dude. I'm sorry, man. Don't ever question her again. Morgan and Morgan, you guys, I was just in a car accident a couple of months ago. Luckily, I wasn't hurt, yeah. but if I was hurt, I would have called Morgan Morgan. Do you know why? They're the best in the world. That's right. In 2020, there was over 5 million car crashes. That's so many. It's more than 15,000 a day and 600 an hour. So many people that get into accidents don't know where to turn or what to do. Do I have insurance? Do they have insurance? How do I handle this? Am I going to be in trouble? Or are they going to be in trouble? What, what is Morgan & Morgan? What it's America's they? largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 under lawyers holy moly holy moly we got hit in my neighborhood last year and i gotta tell you without someone like morgan and morgan i wouldn't know where we would be today with over 15 billion dollars recovered for clients morgan and morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation friends it's so easy it's more like ordering takeout than hiring a lawyer because all you do is open up that app and click 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 you're good to go if you're ever injured in an accident you can check out morgan and morgan their fee is free unless they win for more information go to for the slash bad friends or dial pound law pound five two nine from your cell phone that's four for the people.com slash bad friends or, or pound law pound five two nine from your cell this is a paid advertisement i hey, will not go downtown la anymore fuck it yeah. fuck it i'm tired of people being like it's getting better no it's not the last time i was fucking down there uh we were downtown 
and the riots were going on, the protests and the riots, you know, and I pull into a parking lot. I'm going to do a comedy show and I pull into a parking lot and some black woman's like raising, ra waving her arms at me. And I'm like, oh, am I not, am I in the she's wrong? She's dancing. She was just dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and then she's like this. She's like going like this. And I was like, what the fuck is yeah, going on? Raise the roof. That's what she's doing. She was raising the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I rolled down the window and I was like, I was like, oh, is, is, are we not supposed to park in this lot? Because yeah. I was going to a show. And she goes, no, man, you, not, you got no business being down here. You better get the fuck out of here now. And I was like, for real? She's like, don't you know what the fuck is going on? I was like, I'm going to perform at a show. And she's like, get the fuck up out of here. And I was like, okay, I took the advice. And you left? Yeah, I didn't do the show. <laughs> and you called the guy <laughs> that booked it and said, I Yeah, can't. I said, I'm not doing the show. I'm not doing the fucking wow. show. Wow. Because I, she was probably giving me a warning shot. Like, That's dude, probably they'll probably died. fuck up your car. No, yeah. they'll probably, you'll get out of that car. They're going to kick your fucking windows in. They'll go, oh, we saw some white, redheaded, you know, some fucking lollipop head ass motherfucker get out of this car. <laughs> and they would have busted up my shit because it was be the wrong time, wrong place. So mm. I was like, fuck this. We're going home. You, you do have that huge Confederate flag in your window, too. I took it down. It's on the hood now. It's <laughs> oh, on the yeah. window. Oh. Old Faithful. What do you want me to do, dude? <laughs> What'd you go do with the Robert E. Lee's uh, little thing in front of your car? The it's, statue. And the little statue? Yeah. It's a, it's a bobblehead. It's on my front. It's on <laughs> my it's dashboard. Inside now? Okay, yeah. that's it. Okay. And in my horn, it doesn't honk. It goes, yeah. <laughs> 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 But you still have the speakers and you're doing the turn diaries from it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Cool. That's cool. I love your car. Black people, beware. Beware. <laughs> beware. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I have the speakers on the roof. It's great. But yeah, that was probably a dead giveaway for her uh, uh, <laughs> to get me out of there. It was actually very nice. I was very thankful. I was like, okay, thanks. I'm out. Fuck this. I'm not staying for that. If there is a civil war, <laughs> if there is a civil war, you think we'll win again? I'm going to Canada. I'll tell you that. <laughs> really? I'm not fighting in that bullshit. I'm not going to fight. I'll watch. You can't watch. watch it. They're going to make you join. They're going to make you pick up a gun and join. The, the, the civil war? If we have another civil war in America, you got to. they're going to make you fight. Everyone's going to have to fight. Where? What would be my position? <laughs> Sniper. No, yeah, pro <laughs> probably a ninja. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you just hear the gun? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, so I would have to fight. You 100% would have to fight. Can I be in the back, though, like the last wave? <laughs> no, they put you in first. Yeah. Me and the minorities. Shortest up front. No, it goes by height. It's not skin color. Oh, oh, re oh no. really? Well, because it's like it needs to We're stagger. We're pawns. Yeah, because... We're just the shape of pawns. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, the tall guys need to see the enemy. Mm. And you would need to see them, too. You need to be in front of the tall men. Yeah. So you're up there, bud. But I would run like this. You know what I'm doing? Hmm. Bicycling? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that a rickshaw? This, this is what... I w I'm running like this. You know what, what I'm doing? Hmm. Right. There's a guy in front of me, and my head's stuck, and he's my shield. <laughs> what are you holding on to? The back of his shirt. Yeah, but I think you just hold his Let's butt cheeks. Let's go, Tony! Hold his butt cheeks. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's then, just no and, way. And then once in a while, come on! Let's go! <laughs> All right. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. What would you do in the Civil War? What, do you, what side are you going to be on, first of all? Well, the side I'm going to be on, you know they're going to make me fight. Yeah, you're going to have to fight. Because <laughs> women are equal. That, yeah, they are now. Yeah, you guys asked for all this. I cannot wait till that breaks out. Yeah. And women are like, do you guys want us to sew again and do that stuff? And yeah. you're like, no, no, no. You want to be equal, dude? You got to fucking pick up a gat. And you got to get... <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Me, Je uh, Jesse, <laughs> Natasha Leggero, everyone that's sh short. Yeah. Who else is it? Brad Williams. You, Brad Williams. Yeah, yeah. And we're yeah. just like, we would lose. Yeah. That's yeah. a death. That's why I said I'm going to Canada. Oh, that's right. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to Vancouver, dude. I'm come going on, back. Come on, let's go talk. You know what I mean? And God's like, I mean, there's no way. Oh, come on, man. Wait up, y'all. Y'all hey, yeah, yeah. be no, ridiculous, man. Wait there's up. There's no way. But, you know, if we had a civil war, though, it's like we have new members. What are you talking about? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, don't you think MS 13 would fight for us? Gang members? Yeah. No. Oh, maybe. What are they? You think they're more. What? Leaning. What? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? What? What? Well, finish what? They're leaning what? You think they're leaning right? You think the South will get them? No. No, no. First of all, it won't be divided North and South. East, West. It'll be East, West. It's East, East West. West. I knew that that was the new one. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. East, so us West. versus New York? Yeah. Oh, for, for fuck. We're fucked. Is Chicago East or West? East. They're East? Yeah. Who do we get? Boise? Uh, uh, fucking, we, I think <laughs> we, we get, get Boise. I think we get Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mexicans. Yeah, but they're yeah. going. They'll go back. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> they wouldn't stick around. Yeah, who else do we have? Utah. Is Austin south or uh, I mean east or west? Texas is not going to be included. They're going to be their own little thing. 
Oh, it's a four way They're building fight? a wall right now around yeah. Texas to the United States, <laughs> not just Mexico. They're building it all the way. <laughs> wow. Because they don't want to be with us at all. Wow. They fucking fuck us. They don't and, like us. But imagine if there was a North, South, East, West war, <laughs> like a four way civil war. Like a bracket? Yeah, like a bracket <laughs> war. Like, I think we would lose. The, the West, West Coast? Coast? I don't know. We got a shitload of people. We have a lot of people. Oh, that's true. But we but have. They're all like, you know, I mean, techies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Liberal softies. <laughs> yeah. But, but, yeah. but yeah. we will get a lot of tech war. We'll win tech war. Right. Mm. Fuck yeah, dude. We'll we shut their shit down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Shut down your, we'll shut down your machines. We have nanobots. Nanobots. <laughs> Do we and, not have nanos? <laughs> and Twitter. No, we don't. Elon no. lives in Texas now. Yeah. Shit. Twitter is theirs. Tw yeah, Twitter's theirs. Also, yeah. fuck Twitter, by the way. <laughs> Every time I go on it now, it sucks. It's all a bunch of promoted ads. I don't even see people that I follow anymore. I've opened it up a few times the last couple of days and I shut it down immediately because I'm like, I don't follow any of these people. I'm just getting pushed promoted ads, promoted accounts. I don't literally don't see who I've, I don't see anybody anymore. So fuck Twitter, fuck Twitter. I'm out of it. Well, I haven't been on Twitter. It's still still. <laughs> yeah, know. yours. Is, well, you've been selling months. MacBooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of people that say, they bought a MacBook from your fake account. I know. Scares me. Mm -hmm. I know. I think because real. those people get to vote. <laughs> yeah. You're like you drive yeah. a car and have a job and have a family. You bought a MacBook from a comedian. You didn't see that that was obviously a hacked account. Yeah. That That's scares scary. me. That scares well, me. Well, I want a piece of it. I mean, it is my account. Well, you did. I mean, you sold. I think you sold like 95 MacBooks. <laughs> nice. You should get a piece. I just reach piece. out to the guy somehow and just be like, "Look, dude, you fucked or, me or over." Or can I have it back? Yeah, you should deserve it back. Yeah. yeah. You haven't had it. In how many months have been? Almost a year. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not even kidding. Or maybe he can you can get every other post. Yeah. Oh, like share it? Something. It'll be like what Tig does. Doesn't Tig do that with her Twitter? She <laughs> yeah. gives her Twitter up to yeah. other people. Oh, I love yeah. her. I can't believe that never backfired. I thought for sure that would be be hackable then because she would give it up to so many people. Yeah. I thought some hacker would be able to like loop in and steal it. That's right. But I, it's never been a problem. But she just gives it up. You know this, right? No. She gives her Twitter account to people to do like a residency for like a Still? month. Or? What? Still? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I have Jesus. no idea. But she yeah. used to for yeah. years. She did yeah. it for years and years. Would yeah. you give me your t Twitter account? Absolutely not. You turn it into a Mac store. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a nightmare. Yeah. What part of hate group are you a part of? <laughs> hmm. I I don't like when people show their beliefs so outwardly. All right, let's hate, let's start a hate group against people that show their <laughs> beliefs outwardly. Mm. What what kind of hate group could we we three start for real? Let's start a hate group of our own. What do we hate collectively? Oh. Like an animal. What animal do you hate? Let's choose an animal that people love, and we hate it. Yes. Okay. Well, what 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 do people love that we dolphins? Hate? Dude, fuck them. I'm not kidding. Yeah, hate them. Hate them. Hate them. <laughs> Yeah, cut yeah. it out. What's that mean? Geek, cut geek, it out. Get out yeah, of here. Stop geeky geeky geek in. Yeah, yeah. And, we and, get it. Yeah. And, You're and, gay. And the, <laughs> <laughs> we get it. All right. <laughs> That's what they're saying. <laughs> we get, get it. it, dude. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a parade. I was petting this dolphin one time in Mexico and he like popped his head up, you know? And. <laughs> And literally, like, like <clears throat> you know, you're, they put him on the thing and yeah, I'm rubbing him softly and he pops his head up and he goes, you show me where the poppers are? And then he goes <laughs> back under. It was nuts. Dude. Wow, that's nuts, nuts, dude. <laughs> it was that's crazy. That's so, so crazy. <laughs> Crossing the line, man. It was. I was like, I'm not going to give a dolphin drugs. Yeah. Nuts, dude. Because do you ever see the documentary The Cove? Yeah, we talked about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, but, you know, we should go against dolphins. Is maybe. there a fuck dolphins group? Because we want to start. Because you don't like dolphins either, do you, Juice? No, I fucking hate them. Fucking hate them, dude. Fucking hate them. I don't want to see any dolphins at our show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what the worst thing, too, is <coughs> if you meet a girl and they have a dolphin tattoo, it's a fucking red flag. Red thing. flag. Red flag. Red flag. That and a, like a um, clover leaf. You know how you guys do it? <laughs> what are you talking about? A four leaf clover? Yeah. What's the, wrong with those? A tattoo of it? Uh, it doesn't scare me as much as dolphins. The, but there's not a. What, if, if a woman had a tattoo, what kind of tattoo would turn you off? What kind of tattoo would turn me on? Well, I'm not a, I'm not huge into face tattoos because mm. I don't know if that's a good. I like your face, right? I don't know if I want to see tons of that. But prove me wrong. Maybe I maybe I will later in life meet someone. Where we I'm met like, that girl that had a bad friend tattoo on her leg. Yeah, but that's rad. That's amazing. Yeah, but it's not on her leg. That's not on her face. Yeah, but she also colored yours in, and mine's completely empty with no color. That's right. <laughs> Why? Because yellow was expensive. Uh, <laughs> I see. Orange is like the cheapest color. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> no, uh, what tattoo would turn me off for real? Yeah. 
Actually, that's not. You know, I take it back. I go back because there. I've have seen some face tattoos that are like neck that bleed up that are sexy as shit. Yeah. I just don't like like a word on your face. Oh, I don't like that. Like the word. Like I've seen. You know, those people. It's like. Uh, yeah. what, what someone has on the eyebrow who's famous someone has like above their eyebrow it says something and it's like yeah undisputed or something and i'm like why on your face yeah a yeah. word yeah. art would be tight you know like like you know when like uh indigenous people or natives have face tattoos that but, but it's art but it's symbolic that looks sexy and cool yeah that looks cool i just don't want a word on my face like that yeah like what that. does it say always tired <laughs> what does post malone say yeah. yeah always tired yeah i don't i why why though it's a very silly choice. And God bless. So much confidence, too. See, the cross makes sense. I don't mind the cross. The word is always tired. As a, it's a big... What does that say? Oh, that's his address. Uh, <laughs> 673 East Apple Drive. No, that's not bad. One on the... Above, like, below an eye and one on the forehead. That's not bad. You, you know what I imagine? Dough. This guy cannot walk into a PC store. <laughs> wow. Because he'll be like, get out. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if he finally wants to switch to an Android. <laughs> 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 and they're like, I'm sorry, man. Not with that fucking bullshit on your yeah, face. Yeah. But it's so funny. When we were younger and you met any hot chick, they could have anything on their body. The most offensive thing and yeah. you still try to smash. Well, if, Right? Well, also oh, yeah. because when we were younger, times were like, tattoos were a little bit more, it was a little bit rare. And the idea that like people these days, everybody has tattoos and they have them all over. Right. When we were kids, not a lot of people had this many tattoos. Oh my, oh my God. And when you saw people with a bunch, you were like, whoa, that's so fucking rad. They were like the rebels of the time. Now it's like- No, you'd be scared. Well, they were, yeah. Like if, in yeah. the early 80s, if I was walking in the street and some guy had any tattoo, I'm like, oh my God. Fight you, he'll fight you. <laughs> no, no, it's like, you know, uh, this is um, Escape from New York. Right, <laughs> right I'm, I'm Snake Plissken. <laughs> you, know? you are Snake yeah. Plissken. Love that movie. Do you have tattoos? I forget, you told me. No, I don't have any. We're gonna get one on the road. That's right. We have to get the bad friends a tattoo because you're 100,000 followers. I was thinking of getting like a cartoon juice box right on my neck and the straw goes out to my mouth. Cool, good that's idea. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's a <laughs> very good idea. You're good, gonna love good that. Good for acting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna I love that forever. I wanted to make sure you guys supported it before. Can I, I tell you the funniest <laughs> version of that that you could actually get that no one will see? Have a juice box on your butt cheek and make the straw go into your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and no one will ever see that. That's so funny. That's so funny. That's so good. But you also What do you mean no one will ever see it? Well, no one will ever see it. <laughs> Unless you want them to see it, oh, I mean. I'm, okay. I'm saying like no one's going to know you have that unless you show them. You know what I'm going to get? Then you have to paint the inside of your butthole like grape juice though. You have to do like, you have to you have to stain well, your butthole. Let me butthole. tell you, already is. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you thought about getting a, a, a tattoo? I've thought about it a thousand times. I have one I'm going to do. What? On the road? Let's I'm, do it. I'm going to get a tattoo of a penis on my penis, of a bigger penis. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> it's so dumb. What? It's what impossible. if you do black dick? What if you do black face, black cock? Oh, that's true. What if you just yeah. did a black dick and yeah. and it changed the way you felt about yourself and you had a bigger dick immediately? I mean, it would swell up for sure. Or you could even lie. Go, this is Gary Coleman's penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is Webster's penis. All right, let's get a tattoo on the road then. But you, you'll you'll get one. Yeah, but yeah. on the ankle or something. No, an Nothing ankle. What am I, a teenage boy? In the <laughs> ankle? I mean, it's like. No, I would get it some, I'd probably get- uh, You're not gonna want it because it's a nightmare when you act. You act a lot, you have to go in an hour early, it's a fucking nightmare. Well, you just get it on your wrist. Ankle. That's what I wanna do one on my wrist. I think on my wrist, no one, no one will see right here much because your hands are like this oh, that's most true. times. Okay. And then makeup, cover this up, will take three seconds. Yeah, that's true. So what would I get? What would you get? It's your body. I just wanna write, I wanna, I want like one polarizing word. Oh, shit. You know? So many. <laughs> Except one polar, right? You know? I know which one. <laughs> we'll you, say it on the count three. One. Well, don't do this. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. All right, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Freedom. Mm. <laughs> I knew you were going to betray oh, I knew me. you bailed. <laughs> what? I knew you were going to betray. That's why I said freedom. All right, hey. We're on the road. We're on the road right now. Right and, now. Right where now, are we we're, this week? We're going to Virginia. Norfolk. Where? Norfolk, Virginia. Come on out and see us at the Chrysler Hall. No association to Chrysler, the car company, by the way. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking about that. Maybe it is actually. Norfolk, Virginia. And then the next day, we're going to be in Durham, home of the Durham Bulls, oh, baby. I love it. In North Carolina. And one more North Carolina day. They shot Bull Durham there. They shot Bull Durham there. <laughs> yeah. They shot him down. Then we go to Charlotte, North Carolina after that. So we go Norfolk, Durham, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. And then in the San month of May. San Antonio, Texas, Texas, baby. San Antonio. We go to Texas, baby. We're going to San Antonio. Two shows. Houston. Then Irving, which is Dallas. People are like, well, where's Dallas? It's in Dallas. It's between Fort Worth and, Dal and Dallas. It's Irving. Come see us. 
Uh, and then we uh, head back to the West Coast at that second week of May. So for now, though, Norfolk, Virginia, North Carolina, Durham, and Charlotte. Please and come say Texas. hi. Come, come, please say, come, say, come hi. say hi to us in Texas. We love you, and you know, we want to thank you for being a, a bad, bad friend. friend.